Hi, I'm Renee Flamand. I'm so glad you're still listening. Just listen to the next bunch because they'll be just as juicy. This is about leaving your narcissist. If you finally decided that you know what, I really do need to leave, but you just find yourself falling short. You can't quite execute it. I think I figured out why. As a normal, healthy, functioning person, you have certain attributes within your personality that are positive. You're a loyal friend. You listen. You're trustworthy. You don't turn your back on your friends. You hang in there when they need you. You are there even more during their tough times. That's the key. That's the key. I think when thinking of leaving a narcissist, there's an internal struggle of, well, I'm abandoning them. I mean, even though all these things are true, they're, they're not well. I'm abandoning them. They're going to be alone until they find new supply, but a real connection they're not going to have if I leave them. And you're not used to abandoning someone. It's not the normal you. You would never turn your back on um, a friend or even an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, if it was a normal relationship and you wanted to remain friends with them, maybe you can do that. But you have to remember we're not dealing with a normal brain here. So to think of yourself leaving the narcissist isn't the same as you abandoning a good friend, isn't the same as abandoning someone who deserves your steadfast companionship, deserves your steadfast companionship. That's the key. So I don't want you to lose those attributes of yourself. They're positive, 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 yes? Um, but when thinking of leaving a narcissist, you got to snap over into a different method of thinking and realize you're not abandoning them in the diabolical sense of the word that you might make it feel like you're doing to them. You get what I'm saying? You have faith. I wrote down a sentence and I have to read it because I'll mess it up. Your fear of abandoning him is tied to your non-desire to abandon anyone. And it's tied to you having faith in the person that you thought he could become. Wait, that didn't come out right. You having faith in the person in, in you, the person in you, who has faith in him to become the man you thought he could be. So when you're abandoning that concept, you have to remember you tried belief in him. And you like that about yourself. And you should like that about yourself. I, embrace the thought that some people can change and evolve and improve on themselves. Of course they can. Of course they can. But... Evidence, history, research, and behaviors show that the narcissist just does not have the capability to become the person you thought they could be. So in leaving them, try to let go of the dichotomy within of, oh, but I really know I should with everything I've learned, but really maybe I'll be just that you know, the, the nurse to them or the friend to them that no one else has and, and I'll be there for them. Even if you let go of the idea of wanting to be in a relationship with them, you might find yourself as a normal human being saying, but I feel bad now. I, I left them, you know, no, 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 no. They didn't feel bad when they did A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way to Z, a prime through Z prime. You know, there's a gazillion examples if you've been there long enough that should have prompted you to leave. It's okay that you didn't. Do not beat yourself up. But do not remain because you fear abandoning them will say something negative about you. All it says about you is that you've now chosen your 
mental health and well-being over theirs. You have to choose your well-being over theirs. Even if you're a dysfunctional codependent like me, wherein someone else's happiness is your happiness. That is a hard tie to break. But what happens when you remain is it only escalates, and I know you've seen it. You're probably thinking to yourself, wow, if I left last year, I wouldn't have had episodes, you know, 86 through 204 happened to me over the last 12 months. Picture if you had left earlier the episodes that you would have missed. That'll jar you into reality. You'll have no knowledge of those episodes because you wouldn't have been there. Now, if you remain now, next year at this very exact time, you will be having episodes 303 through 417 that you could have avoided for yourself. I'm sorry it's time to get tough, but this is about you and you alone. And do not think of abandoning them as you letting go of your responsibility of being a good person. There's a point at which human beings break. And it is not your job to remain even after that point has come repeatedly from the narcissist. Do not feel that way. Okay.